Good morning. 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 Welcome. 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 To Breaking Door. Breaking Door. Breaking Door. Breaking door, breaking door, breaking door. Good morning and welcome to Breaking Dawn this morning. And my name is Stefan Reese. I'll be with you until 8 o'clock. It is Monday morning in Trinidad and Tobago, and it is a Monday morning where we're going to talk about what took place between Friday and Saturday. That's it. Because I think the country needs to we need to we need to we need to ventilate this morning. So this morning I want to take as many calls as possible. We're going to ask um, all of our viewers to, to weigh in on the conversation because the office of the Prime Minister did put out a statement. I'll read you that statement as well. Um, and we'll get your feedback on it. But good morning to the regional viewers, everybody watching us internationally, those of you on social media, good morning. Um, let's get started, okay? So we got the news day this morning. And in the news day, Heinz Knox East Porter Spain residence. Where is the outrage against gangs, he asked. And uh, a criminologist said, young hotheads doing mass murders. All right? So here we go. National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines, in the wake of Saturday's deadly gang attack at Harp Place in Port of Spain, says there appears to be no community desire to stop gang warfare in the area. In a lengthy post on Facebook, Hines also asked the residents of Shafford Court, Barcelon Street and environs whether they would go through the rituals and be back to life as Back to life and business as normal by Monday He also asked whether these deaths would prompt a call to sincerity and determined action from them Heinz was addressing the murderous incident in which five people including police sergeant Larry Phillip were killed on Saturday Rudolph James Randy Graves Pete Norrie and Devon Jack were also murdered. Three others, Richard Peer, Wendell Primus, and Akina Thomas, were injured and hospitalized. In the aftermath of the murders, police and soldiers were deployed to the scene as angry residents hurled abuses at the officers. We will come back to this. That is where the conversation is this morning. Hey, hey look, criminolog criminologist Dr. Ram Randy Sipasad. Let's see if he's going to tell us anything that we don't know. So, criminal gangs are deliberately deploying alienated youngsters to commit violent crimes which turn out to be mass shootings, criminologist Dr. Randy Sipasad told Newsday on Sunday. In reaction to a surge in such incidents, <sighs> once again, that's all they do. They tell us exactly what we already do. We know this. God, boy. Um, <laughs> ask if he had any words to comfort the public. Sipasad said, quote, there is nothing to comfort the public when it comes to mass shootings like that. It more than likely is a trend as you are seeing it happen over the last couple of years with a kind of frequency you have not seen before, end quote. He said he knew of documents in which intelligence agencies and police identified this as a trend. Sipasad said it was hard to see why this was happening, but cited alienated youths. Hmm. 
Augustine announces June 9th for internals but warns behave for TPP elections. Passengers arrested after robbing ride share driver. Two passengers who robbed a ride share driver at gunpoint of his van in the Kanupia district over the weekend have been arrested. The suspects, a 33 year old man from Lavandi and a 22 year old man from Arima, were in custody without charge up to Sunday. Princess Tong murder victims' home destroyed by fire. Annual rental value based on ghost money. UNC say property tax on ethical and discriminatory selectively applied. And there's a picture here that was sent to me over the weekend and I see it in the paper this morning. And I should have sent it for them, you know, but I ain't planning to deal with that. Tomorrow we're going to deal with that. But it, there is an elderly gentleman standing in front of a wooden house. And his annual rental value is $96,000 annually, which they're trying to tell people. Imbot and they are trying to tell people that he could rent that house for eight thousand dollars a month, basically. If you see the house, I would like to know if Colm Imbot want to rent that house for eight thousand dollars a month. Nothing makes sense in that property tax situation. We will come back to that tomorrow. Afra Raymond wrote an article on it. I'm going to read you that article. And we're going to we're going to listen. We're going to put some serious pressure on them. You know, I met with Brian Big um, on Friday, and we followed the Freedom of Information Act request. So I'm letting them know we come in. You know, we come in because whatever formula you use, it ain't adding up. And you could come in Parliament and talk about we're going from three percent, and we'll only implement um, that it's going to be two percent instead of three percent. It don't matter. It's going to be zero percent. That's what it's going to be. You trust me on that. Sinanan says new technology will ease traffic. From Monday morning, drivers can expect some reprieve from peak hour traffic jams around the Golden Grove Road, Churchill Roosevelt Highway intersection, uh, one of the nation's busiest. Works Minister Rowan Sinanan on Sunday presented the ministry's latest measure to alleviate traffic, which involves a monitoring and management system that controls traffic lights based on traffic flow rather than on a timed rotation. We'll see how that works. Cop det cops detain six, seized three guns, drugs and, and in an anti-crime exercise msj says make businesses pay property tax first well it's not going to matter if the businesses have to pay it you know because the price is going to go up and every cost is going to be passed on to the consumer don't you all get it no matter who you target first the consumer is going to pay the bill yeah the people at the bottom of the barrel all all your grassroots people, all of us, we are the ones that that, that, that are paid the bill. That all those costs are passed on. That is why when they increase minimum wage, places just increase their prices. Because they're gonna uncover that back by raising the prices on John Public. So if they target commercial property tax first, what do you think they're gonna do? Maple Leaf student raises 40000 for oil spill cleanup. Music festival ends. Winners give special performance at Queen's Hall. And those are some of the headlines in the paper this morning. Um, including after making a false rape claim against a cop, a woman, age 62, is charged with wasting police time. A 62-year-old woman from Arima who lodged a complaint against a policeman saying he forced her to have sex with him while in custody has been charged with wasting the police time. Hmm. Boy, you look at read that on page 15, yes? I not time, I not time. All right. And what is this here? New IT labs for four more panyards. Um, Curep Shazando Steel Orchestra, TNT Tropical Angel Harps, NGC Kuva Joy Landers, and NLCB Fonclair are now among eight steel bands to have air conditioned computer labs constructed by a partnership between the Digital Foundation's Technology in Education program 
and Pantry and Bigo. All right. Okay. Yeah, those are the headlines. Um, every time I turn the paper, I see a few more, but you can pick up your news there at a newsstand near you and um, take a read in all that is in here, including Heinz targeting the residents of East Port of Spain. He's the Minister of National Security. He not outraged, but everybody else is. You understand? We do have a plan. But we're going to do. Anyway. Let me tell you about Keolic, blood pressure formula 109, as we get the ball rolling this morning. So for a healthy blood pressure balance that you need, Keolic blood pressure health formula 109 is combined with aged garlic extract. This is doctor developed using a quality assured Keolic garlic aging process, which produces an odorless preparation and converts the harsh, unstable organosulfur compounds in garlic into milder, more beneficial compounds. And these compounds are higher in antioxidants as shown and have shown in clinical studies to improve blood pressure health along with other health benefits so some of these benefits from this particular product is lowering your blood pressure and cholesterol levels supporting your immune system enhancing circulation and improving gut microbiota amongst other things it also supports cardiovascular health immune health and gut health and you can find this at any leading pharmacy or health store nationwide. For more information on the Keolic Blood Pressure Health Formula 109, just pick up the phone and call or WhatsApp 728-0338. That is 728-0338. We also have the Food Circuit and Rest Stop, which is open serving breakfast from 5 a.m. with a wide variety of meals to choose from, including the High Speed Breakfast Restaurant, where continental type breakfast uh, sandwiches, barbecue, and burgers are served from 6 a.m. onwards. And the food circuit and rest stop is located two kilometers after the Monroe Road flyover in the northbound lane of the Ra Butler Highway. You could check them out today. They also provide washroom facilities and secured parking. So get your breakfast at the food circuit and rest stop this morning. All right, um, we have Chef Shiraz, don't we? With the kids' Easter cooking course yeah so chef shiraz culinary academy they got the three-day easter kids cooking classes april 3rd 4th and 5th and this takes place from 12 noon to 4 p.m ages 10 to 17 years old the cost is 1250 and all raw materials are provided with that price this will take place upstairs ram singh plaza in Shogonas, and you can contact 3724639 or 7375097 for more details. You can also email him at chefsharaz8 at hotmail.com, just as you see it on the screen. All right, and um, let me see what else, what else we got there. You put it up, lovely. So, we got set while aboard, set has the holistic health clinic, will be on tomorrow. Um, as we continue the topic from last week, but set why all aboard. Um, holistic Health Clinic, stop managing that disease and move towards reversing it. Cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, autoimmune diseases, digestive disorders, and hypertension, and more. And you can book an appointment now for a consultation with set on 7611952 or 2793935. So get moving towards those lifestyle changes today. All right, and we also have Van Egmond, the magic soil for all plants. Van Egmond, that's right, it's the magic soil, baby. Oh, yeah, poof, and your plants, they just appear. All right, so you could find this product at the Freeport Agro Center opposite the Freeport Police Station, and you can call 7909247 or 4964603. For more details, this is Van Egmond, the magic soil for all plants. All right, don't pass them by. Stop in and get that soil. All right, it's the best thing that you will get for all of you who love your gardening. You understand? You have your little garden. You know, all the farmers out there in Trinidad and Tobago, try this soil. It's magic. All right, so with that, um, we're going to take a break. When we come back from the break, um, a little note on Ron Stefan Run, and then we get cracking with what took place over the weekend. So stay tuned. We have a lot to discuss this morning and a lot of calls to take. We'll be back after this.
Free electricity for your home and business. Are you tired of paying high electricity bills month after month for security cameras, power gates, lighting, appliances, entertainment, and air conditioning? Then call Solar Ready, the number one solar energy company to call in Trinidad and Tobago. They will show you how much money you can save each month on your electricity bill. Come and see how they can help you with your partial or complete transition from a traditional electricity to solar power for your home and business. See why so many homes and business owners trust and depend and their professional staff to design and install a solar energy system to meet their energy needs. It's hot outside, cool inside. Get an affordable site visit to estimate what costs may be applied. Free quotes and assessments. Just contact Solar Ready at 333-2818 or visit their website at www.solarready.org. Situated at PTSC Transit Mall, Kwese, San Juan. Are you stressed and worried by problems? Then meet Priest Santoshji. Priest is specialized in palm, face, photo, date of birth reading and gives solutions to problems in marriage, relationship, love, business, job, health and removes all black magic, negativity, bad luck permanently and gives good luck and lifelong protection. Then call Priest Santoshji 384 3844 That's 384 3844 Welcome to Car City Trading, your number one supplier of brand new Korean auto parts. Come on down to lot number 78, Bamboo Settlement number 2, Valsane, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday to Friday and 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday to get your Hyundai and Kia vehicular needs. Car City Trading has everything your vehicle needs, from a brand new head and blocks to engine parts, transmissions, suspension parts, body parts, electrical parts, braking system, AC system, even the smallest sensor and much more. WhatsApp us today at 704-2246 or call us at 645-2603 and let us be your car parts solution. Be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and look out for our monthly deals and promotions. Car City Trading, quality products at unbeatable prices. Green Dot continues to deliver internet connectivity to a wide range of communities in Trinidad. With our combination fiber and wireless network, you get the service you need wherever you live. Stream your favorite shows, enjoy online tuition, stay in touch with your work team, and connect with friends and family with internet service at a price you can afford. As communities continue to grow, we continue to deliver. Call 224 GDOT or visit gd.tt today. Green Dot, improving and simplifying lives. Unlock the door on a global journey to invest in real estate in the United States. Introducing Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Their real estate experts will guide you through every step of buying, selling, leasing, and business sales, providing a seamless experience as you invest or relocate. Explore the diverse range of properties from beachfront, condos, luxury, residential, and commercial, and unlock the incredible opportunities the United States has to offer. Their affiliated companies provide property management, property insurance, finance and so much more. So let them guide you through the process, ensuring a smooth transition. With offices conveniently located in South Florida, you can contact them today and let your international real estate adventure begin. Call them directly at 1-561-459-4361 or WhatsApp 1-561-574-2846. Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Offering respect, relationships and results. Come down to Adams Optical where we offer free comprehensive eye exams and you can also get full single vision or bifocal glasses for only $5.95. We have a wide selection of frames and shades for everyone and we specialize in contact lens examination. Find us on Facebook or visit us in store. Adams Optical. This season of Lent, get more options from Royal Castle with its three tasty meal specials. Meals made with the freshest fish, seasoned with the castle's appetizing trendy ingredients and cooked to golden perfection. Choose from the fish combo, two succulent pieces of fish, one side and a 16 ounce soft drink, or the fish sandwich combo of a tender, tasty sandwich, one side and a 16 ounce soft drink, or even a flavorful veggie combo option of a sandwich, a side and a 16 ounce soft drink. Get more options from Royal Castle, our culture our taste for Lent.
All right, so we're back on Breaking Dawn this morning. And as we return, um, Olegu Memoralina. Yeah, go ahead. I know I kind of threw you off here because if he's coming back with Ron Stefan Ron, but yeah, that's my fault. Um, right, so we got Morelli Realty. All right, now Morelli Realty um, is, of course, when we're talking about excellence in real estate, we're talking Morelli Realty. Uh, a company dominating the real estate industry with effective charismatic marketing strategies that you're going to love. So check out Morelli Realty. And their name is synonymous with trust, quality, and determination. Join them and embark on a journey to turn your real estate aspirations into a reality. And you can call them. You can call any one of those numbers on the screen there. Um, whether it is Alicia, Tashauna, um, Christy, you know. Um, you, can call, you can call any one of the numbers that you see on the screen there. 290-6123-3795812. Those are two of the numbers. Um, Anais, Halima, um, Davian. Uh, you can call any one of them uh, if you're interested in real estate. You can also check them out on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram uh, on social media. But this morning, um, at least later on this morning, we have uh, a giveaway, all right? We have a giveaway for, uh, for Morelli Realty. As a matter of fact, uh, over the weekend, Morelli celebrated a, a key member's birthday. Um, and as part of the festivities, four lucky winners will have the opportunity to choose between a luxurious manicure or a pampering pedicure, courtesy of Gossip Here Salon and Spa, located in Movitong, Port of Spain. All right, so this is a giveaway that we're going to do a little bit later on this morning. So ladies, especially the ladies, I know the ladies like to be pampered. Um, get ready because we're going to have a simple question for you uh, this morning. All right, so pay attention to everything that you're seeing um, on the screen here right now that I'm talking about because uh, it might form part of the question coming later this morning when we... Um, try to give away uh, the pedicure and the man or, or the manicure. All right. So it's either a manicure or a pedicure. All right. Nice man. And also we're getting ready for run Stefan run run Stefan run Sunday April twenty eighth. Yeah. Sunday April twenty eighth. QRC will be the location. That is where we're gathering and we're coming out and we are going to give part proceeds to the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Too many people are living with diabetes in Trinidad and Tobago, and we want to create that awareness. I have several people um, that have been on this program, including Seth Viola Board, um, Dr. Rajiv Siriram, who you will hear from come next month, and they all have a lot of, um, a, a few different approaches to dealing with diabetes, all right? and. I give you the opportunity to choose whichever one is best for you. Of course, any diabetic, they know what they have to do. Um, it does require a lifestyle change. Um, but we would like to create that awareness come April. And I'm looking forward to people coming out and supporting this. Because, let me tell you something, eh? To live with any disease on a daily basis is very tough. Um, I have had too many people message me and say, Stefan, I'm a pensioner, or Stefan, you know, I, I'm, I'm unemployed, or I'm, 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 I'm disabled, um, and they're living with something, and they just don't have the income to support that something. Thankfully, we have people like the Diabetes Association that, you know, they, will, they assist um, those people with diabetes and so on and so forth. A lot of the people who cannot afford um, certain medications, etc., etc., um, we're going to try to help them um, as best we can with part of the proceeds. But the run is um, also a run and fun walk. Eh? And I want to stress that for people because people just start to talk. When they start to give excuses, well, boy, you know, I would have make it to them about foot it. Listen, you could come out, you can walk, you can um, register and just chill out on the day. Um, it's up to you. All right, because we're going to make a terrific morning of it. It's not just about coming out, doing the 5K and the fun walk, but it's being there, um, actually coming out of your house, all right, on April 28th, 
um, the race start time is 6 30 a.m the warm-up will be at 6 a.m courtesy empower and uh, let me tell you something eh, man um, we put in a lot of work into this to prepare this it's not easy to prepare something taking place that early in the morning but uh, we got it done last year and we'll definitely get it done this year we want to start on time at 6 30 a.m so we ask that people be there promptly especially the persons who would like to win themselves one of the many cash prizes that we have on offer so cash prizes will include for the first place five thousand dollars tt dollars that's right five thousand tt dollars that's male and female the um second place is going to be three thousand by three thousand male and female two thousand is for third male and female one thousand for fourth male and female and of course we will have fifth sixth and seventh we will have cash prizes for those persons that finish fifth sixth and, uh, and seventh we also have age group price prizes so any child 12 and under um, they do not have to register they can come you could bring out your kids and uh, make the walk around the course and spend a morning of it with us um, at QRC with me at QRC because I'm going to be there um, we also have age group prizes I think it's 13 to 15 16 to 19 and then we go 20 to 29 30 to 39 40 to 49 50 to 59 60 and up so um, there are many age group prizes to be won so make sure and come out register early registration is currently taking place at trinbagoevents.com that is trinbagoevents.com a couple of people told me to try to register they had a little problem if you're having a problem with the registration call 482-5531 that is 482-5531 make sure and call that number that is Aaron Aaron runs that platform good morning to him and everybody at trinbagoevents.com and um, he'll be happy to assist you and you'll get it done in like two twos all right so with that <coughs> my throat was scratching me there i'm sorry about that all right with that people before we get to the situation that took place at um her place put up the five the five shot dead for me Five men shot dead in separate incidents across the country. Yep. Take a sip of water here. Right. So we're getting started here now. Here we go. Police are investigating five murders which took place in separate incidents at Shogonas, Claxton Bay, Mova, Valencia and Arima between Friday and Saturday. The latest incident took place along Main Road, Shogonas, near the market shortly after 3.30 p.m. where market vendor Mark Koshi was shot dead. The other victims have been identified as Indar Boris of Valencia, Paul Kirk of Claxton Bay, Kester McAllister of Mova and Anil Maraj of Arima. This is five people shot dead between Friday and Saturday. Okay? That's five. Put up the hard place, somebody, the hard place headline with the police officer. Nice. Police officer among five killed at hard place. A police sergeant is among five people who were killed on Saturday following a gang-related shooting at her place in East Port of Spain. Three of the five victims died on the scene and two at the Port of Spain General Hospital. Three others were taken to hospital with gunshot injuries. Police told Newsday that the victims were liming with a group of people at 10.55 a.m. near the entrance of the HEC apartment complex off Observatory Street when a car drove into the compound and the occupants fired a volley of gunshots okay now the people who died on the scene were rudolph james of beverly hills randy graves of oxford street port of spain sergeant larry joseph of observatory street um peter norrie of bath street in port of spain and devon jack 
of Shafford Court on Charlotte Street. They all um, died at, um, well, sorry, two of them died at the hospital, or one of them died at the hospital. The three injured are craftsman Richard Peer of Shafford Court, who received an injury to his lower back, Wendell Primus of Har Place, who was injured in the left leg, and Akina Thomas of Har Place, who was shot in the right shoulder. So, run me the footage now. Let's go to the footage. The hard place footage. Right? And we come back and open the phone lines. Watch. Pulling tape and badening up people. Where the jeeps that's supposed to be on Oxford Street corner? And where the commissioner of police come here this morning and see the six dead bodies on the ground? We want to uh, come here this morning and see the six dead bodies on the ground. Because like she's still working ghost gang. Right? All uh, still working ghost gang. Right? The commissioner of police working ghost while citizens dying in the Java district. She working ghost. Gunmen swing and kill six men in our place this morning. And all the police out there like the big and bad, but afraid the gunmen. Six people. All right. Put that in a split for a minute. Leave that in rotation. Now, in the paper this morning, Heinz Knox East Porter Spring residence. He is asking, where is the outrage against gangs by the residents? National Security Minister Fitzgerald Lines in the wake of Saturday's deadly gang attack at Harp Place in Port of Spain says there appears to be no community desire to stop gang warfare in the area. And of course, he went to social media to say this. So he typed it up now. You know, he's a keyboard warrior. Right? In this same article, they say new CCTV cameras are, are, have been installed in Port of Spain. So on Sunday, Newsday saw a large crew of workmen accompanied by a police officer and a soldier installing CCTV cameras in Port of Spain. One was installed at the corner of George and Duke, uh, five at the corner of Duke and Henry, seven at the corner of Duke and Charlotte Street. Although cameras were also on the building of the Carnival Museum and two at the corner of Duke and Pembroke, there were also newly installed cameras on the corner of St. Vincent and Park Streets and Duncan Street, and the same crew was later seen installing cameras on St. Vincent Street. All right, so 10 people get killed in 24 hours, 10 in one day, 10. UNC's David Nackett says fix the east-west corridor to fix Trinidad and Tobago. Opposition Senator uh, David Nakid said he visited her place following Saturday shooting and murders. Nakid said he was the only politician who went to see what happened. He said he was struck by how traumatized his society was and how many people were conditioned by the People's National Movement that these were not their people. He said, quote, we say these people and that community, we don't refer to them. Let's not be hypocritical about it. We don't refer to them as our brothers and sisters, our children. So we don't recognize that these are our people who died yesterday. We say those people, and some of us even say, they get what they vote for. End quote. He said these were very asinine and, uh, sorry, these were very asinine comments people had to, um, to move away from in the national community. Nakid said it seemed like it was barely three weeks ago he stood in the same place and spoke to the murder 
of schoolboy Ezekiel Parrier, who was 11 years old. We're going to open the phone lines and we're going to take your calls now. Because, morning. Yeah, go ahead. Today, to make the decision on the property tax. Right? And for years, we have a set of shooting in this place, a lot of killing. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, don't carry to Parliament making illegal gun different penalties for illegal firearm. I don't understand. What is the priority? Like, it's okay for a lot of people to get just get shoot down on the road? I don't know no, at this no, point. No. Yeah, man. And, and, and just, just before I take the next call, let me tell you something, eh? You all saw how those bodies were? Now, if I swing for a man, let me say I, I, I is a vendetta thing and is a gang war thing, and I swing, my, my fire, right, is going to be targeting the individual that I go on for, right? So I would have expected the bodies, all those people that died in her place on Saturday, what confused me is that how, how, how the bodies were spread out all over her place. So I say to myself, like, these fellas just pull up and I start a spray out, just start a bus shots. You know, morning. Morning, Stefan, and they will still be red and ready next year. Time they really go and protest by the Red House or by the Diplomatic Center, do something. So Heinz are wrong in his statement. Mm. You see what happened to them? Them want to be a barbecue to like Haiti now. Once PNM went next year, we just like Haiti, you know. Them fellas, them just watching all them El Chapo and all them, them um, Escobar movie, them feeling narcos, them feeling in Sicarios. It ever done? That okay. So tell Rowley, hurry up and build the golf course for them. Hmm. Wow. Okay, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. We're taking your calls. Morning. Morning. Yeah, give your thoughts. Yeah, the fun morning. I yeah. come, I come to Jerova. Yeah, man. I can tell you, when them fellas come in to shoot, they just come out, they can and start to shoot. They wasn't targeted, no individual. Hmm. They just come out, and start, that is why the body spread out like that. Spread out all and over then, the place. Yes, I, I stand up right there and watch everything. Wow. And then Heinz can come out and make a statement about a community doing well. What community doing well? This community doing well? Mm -hmm. Stefan, you come out a day and walk to her place. Yeah. Which is a stone show away from the, the, the MP office. And mm -hmm. tell me if this, this place doing well. If okay. this community doing well. Thank you and have a good day. Stephon. Yeah, my brother. No problem. I'm glad we get into, we, we, I'm going to get as many callers as possible. I used to play in a bar on Observatory Street when I was a DJ, you know, right wrong there. Um, right around the corner from there on Observatory Street. Hello, good morning. Morning. Yeah, man. Well, we're observing a lot of police officers getting killed now, and there is no zero tolerance, there is no real action to go after the criminals, and they call it collateral damage. Mm. I, I wonder if when senior officers and government ministers start to get killed, if it will still be collateral damage, or then they will wake up. Hmm. But so you, know, you, in, yeah. you know, somebody told me that yesterday, a caller, they say, boy, like, 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 you know, like, people had to shoot behind, uh, you know, these, 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 these politicians and then for them to, to wake up and take the thing serious. Correct, correct, correct. Because the, the, the commissioner of police comes and make a statement like if she's not even lying to chatting, well, we got this and chat, la, 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 we are zero tolerant now with people now who are want to pay property tax to charge them and all kind of nonsense. Right. So the important thing now, the preservation of life no longer becomes important. Right. So from, from children to police officers, these are sergeants now gone. Yeah. And count, count with, 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 within, from within the years that how many police officers have died and nobody seems to care. No, no, so we, we, yeah, we are moving away faster than you and I. Mm -hmm. We may get one more and here, here, um, we go on to. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Cola. Yeah, and, 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 you know, just on the incident with the 11 year old, um, and in accordance to what the caller from East Dry River was saying, I mean, that's what it is. Um, these guys just pulling up, they have their illegal firearms, these, uh, these assault rifles, and they're just spraying up the place. They don't care who they hit. You could be lying. Let me just say, just before I take the next call, right? 
Let me just say, all the people who, who just be lying in out on the avenue on a Friday and a Saturday night, right? All all you who a lot of people might think because they see a lineman, you know, when they see people lineman, they say, well, look, let me not the study, let me see how the country going. Well, let me tell you something. Sometimes you just need to go and take out a line to, 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 to de-stress, to get rid of the stress because of what's going on in the country or the workplace or whatever, right? But I just want to bring it to their attention. Let's just say, because we never know who we are wrong, eh? You might be unaware of who you lineman are wrong. So you might be signed up by a bar and some gangsters in the bar chilling out having a time and the word go back to the enemy that hey so and so in the bar these fellas going to pull up they ain't coming for here no they just coming to shoot you understand and this is what we're going to end up with mass shootings and yes what the last caller term that's collateral damage as they like to see something has to happen to put an end to this hello good morning morning sir yeah Stressing on what the other corner say. You see them in the morning boasting and hear officer he get twenty tickets like twenty thousand dollars and doing this mm -hmm. and doing that. Their colleagues and comrades fall in and nobody seems to be doing anything about it. Yeah. So you see the little square opposite the parliament there? Yeah. Why all of them to go there and shoot already and where wherever the bullet go it it, it go? <laughs> Right? Because they have criminals inside of there too, because they don't care about nobody. There are no feelings, or Boy. Children dying. This is the most ever police officers dying. This is the most ever that I know about in, mm. in, in this little history that we have in Trinidad and Tobago. And what are they doing? No officer blaming many people. Yeah, he said they they no outrage. He said he waiting on the outrage. But where is the outrage, outrage from? Where is his outrage? He's the Minister of National Security. But he's not responsible, eh? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Well, yeah, it's Take true. His, it's not his job to keep yeah, the population safe. It's not his safe. job to save. Yeah. yeah. Take care. And, and that's, that's it for me with Heinz. You're supposed to be the first person that outrage. You are the Minister of National Security. Every time a shooting takes place, a murder takes place, that is a blemish on your office. How are you going to respond to that? If you do nothing, then they will just continue to shoot and kill people all over the place. You have absolutely no response, none whatsoever. Two three five five three two five. We go in again. Take any your calls. Morning. Morning, Stefan. How are you going, man? Yeah, back. What's going on, man? Cool, man. Stefan, this is no big scene in the eyes of the people in authority, you know, because according to last year statistics. We have a 7% decrease in murders right now, this year. So they're doing good. Hmm. Not because everybody, so much people get killed at one time is a big scene. And this is the problem with this country. For the last eight years, our murder toll was 550 and above to 600. Hmm. And it was okay in the eyes of Rowley and Erla and, uh, well, Erla come in and Fitzgerald Hines and people like them. Mm -hmm. So we might be really making a scene and panicking about this, but that don't mean anything to them. You have to understand they have a reduction, so they're doing good. According to Fitzgerald Hines, they're performing well. And this thing going beyond now, crime in this country, you know, people have to understand that, you know, this is beyond crime, you know. We cannot debate anymore of the failure of the government in every aspect. That is understood, that is lamented in, 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 in golden writing. Mm -hmm. What we have to look at now is what the universe is telling us in this country. That every time this man stands up in front of a podium and starts to address this country, we have this type of bloodshed. Remember during the pandemic, when every time he comes to say we're doing so well with, with handling the pandemic, as soon as he walk off that podium, you'll hear about six, seven, eight people dead from COVID. Look at the trend that has taken place. And now I don't believe of necromancy and them kind of nonsense and thing. I can't sleep on a grave and I don't have no problem with that. There's yeah. something not right in this country, boy. All we just be talking about, we praying and how much God it have and how much this and thing. But something evil is roaming this country. The universe is telling us that. And still people cannot wake up and understand that. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But when you start killing 80-year-old women and 5-year-old child and 
all these killings. That in right, the yeah. universe is telling us that with all this bloodshed that is taking place, and if the population do come out and really do something about this, to get rid of this man, this evil that is governing this country, let me tell you something, it's going to get worse. Because they do have one answer or one clue as a try, and because they them dealing with this thing on the wrong side, and you know, go and put plenty of police and put laws and lock up people and think that is not the pro that is not the answer to this. But I just trying to so, um, plaster up a, a, a saw on your foot. Mm. The problem is here is how you have to deal with trying to convert somebody from deciding, hey, here what I want to take somebody else's life. What it is a human being need. They don't need some security in their life, or some value to know that they could get up in the morning and enjoy a, 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 a honest day work, but to provide food for their homes, to provide shelter, educate the children. Mm. Where, where that is coming from? Is that coming from nine years of governance so far? No way you will see that happen. So mm. what do you expect to happen now? All right. It's like Stefan. Have a good morning, man. Be careful. Yeah, man. Uh, just before we take the next call, call gentlemen. 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 Um, I, I, you know, I'm now reading, when the caller from East Driver calling, I didn't reach out far down in the article, where, where he mentioned Heinz said that the community doing well. So let me just give you his post here. In his post, Heinz said, the murderous explosion of deadly violence that erupted at Hart Place Observatory Street, Port of Spain, has shocked and traumatized all. He said he knew three of the dead, including Phillips, and shared his condolences with the families and friends affected by the event. This community and its immediate environs have hosted countless explosions of such violence over decades. This bloody event took five lives, including my friend, everybody's friend, Larry Phillips, a sergeant of police, bandsman, who was liming there as he usually did, including Pete, who I knew and interacted with over many years, he said. Heinz said many of these communities were doing well and have done well but the trajectory of violence seemed non-ending. He said the police have indicated that it is a result of the gang activity. The area is dominated by gangs. Thus far, the police has had only limited success in eradicating gangs. <laughs> he said it can be done, but it requires a multi-pronged approach including all aspects of the state's possible response, most of all a genuine desire on the part of the non-gang residents and business owners in these communities. He said the community is doing well. Well, if the communities were doing well, Heinz, why is it that a lot of these people within the communities are choosing to join a gang and live a life of crime rather than something else or something positive. If the communities are doing well, why are they choosing to be in a gang? The next one, the criminologists say young hotheads carrying out mass murders saying that alienated youths are the ones that join in the gangs and committing these mass murders. If the communities are doing well, why do the youth feel alienated? If there are so many opportunities there, why are they alienated? Why is the first choice for many of them join a gang, pick up a gun, put on a robbery, put on a um, gun, kill somebody? Why is that the option? We go back to the phone line community is doing well. Morning. Hmm. Hello, good morning. That's one, morning. Yeah, man, go ahead. Listen, I just want to start off by saying crime is a business, one. And two, we have seen cameras all over this country, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, they have the units where they're monitoring the crime, the cars and this kind of thing. Yeah. Isn't the cameras, are the cameras working? If these cameras are working, then it is so easy to, to, to put a, um, a, a cap on this crime that is taking place. And thirdly, when you look at yesterday's Guardian, the city shooting was linked to the SSA. It had a report to that. So, I mean, when you look at it, it's something better, bigger than what is happening. And Heinz himself, um, you know, maybe make many attempts for him to go, 
but it does seem that he will leave it anytime sooner. Hmm. So let's continue to wake up and rally to rally against it. If we could boycott KFC, then it's time we could call for Heinz and them to leave. Take hmm. care. All right, man. Two three five five three two five. Two three five five three two five. Oh, we going again. You just patch it, man. Stefan. Yeah, go ahead, Ricky. Yeah, we're going on, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, what I'm saying, right? My, my topic is this. We could never stop crime. We could do all we want, but we could never stop crime till we unite and throw them parties and them behind we and come together to fight crime. All this talk about this and the police and all of it, that ain't going to help nobody. You understand what I'm saying? We had to come together, right? This, this whole thing getting worse. That, 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 that youth man, they killing Ari Ma, Arnel Marge. I mean, that my friend. That worked for me, you know. He worked for me for years, man. You know, really? a little boy, like, I don't like, mind that get gone down in front of my head. But this place getting sick tonight. I my the, the, the place is getting sick. Man. Like, everybody else in this country, just sit down. You understand? They don't want to do nothing because they're afraid. We afraid of what we own country. Yeah. We're right, talking and telling our man this weekend. How you pull them match together now and see 41 people uh, uh, and 2.5 million people in this country and see what's going on in this place now. Nobody don't want to do nothing, man. That's, that's leaving the crime, man. That's runway. Later on. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Two three five five three two five two three five five three two five. Point you. Point you. Morning. Hello. Yep, morning. Good morning. I call him for Stefan. Yeah, go ahead. Your life, man. What are your thoughts? Okay, I want Stefan to pull up the, the footage with Benny Hinn when he was here doing the um, gospel program. Mm -hmm. I want him to pull up the footage or the words he was saying and how he predicted Trinidad will be about over a decade now. Mm. And what we seeing today, and okay. the response that Manning Ma was giving him. I remember that, you know. I'll see if I can find that footage, Andrew. Okay, that will yeah, be Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember that, up. I remember that. I'm telling you, pull it up, and you're going to see what happening today. What the man predict, right? Yeah. Okay, brother. All Thank right, you. Man. Take it easy. I'll see if I can yeah. find that footage, Andrew, because I remember when Benny Hinn came here. I can't remember his exact words, but... It, it, he, he, had, he had said, you know, that this is where we were headed, you know. Um, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. Well, we had uh, um, Adip. Adip and he sold there from TN Tech. Hmm. All right, we're going again. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. All right. Hello. Yeah, morning, man. Go ahead. Morning, Stefan. Yeah, Chief. This is no Benny King. And they say no this, and they say no that, you know. It's them both voters and them, those PNF voters and them had this, 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 this man up there. Rory is the, is, is, is the main man for this, causing this crime thing in this country. The man speaks like, he, he, he behaves like a hog, like a pig, like a, like a swine. This is the man causing the whole thing. It, the voters and them have this man up there. It's you know Benny King saying this and this saying that and this saying that. Is the government causing that? Here, here, about Heinz come and talk about the, uh, uh, about the statement he make, and he ain't blaming himself. It's the people, it's the people what have this country so. It ain't no prime minister, it ain't no Ebert, it ain't no Heinz. It's the people, it's the voters, the PNM voters, and them. It's them, it's the man who had country. They blind, they, I don't know, they dotish. It's them have the country so today. If we ain't change this government, we go, which I hate it. We can close as it. Have a nice day, Stefan. All right, man. Why? Um, we can take about two more. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. And then, yeah, morning. All right. Um, my take on it is that um, it has fifteen percent voting ketchup, fifteen percent voting mustard. Right, I took the. You have seventy percent that is uh, do nothing. That is the problem. Right, <laughs> that is the problem. Right, it has seventy percent who sit down and do do nothing, who do come out and vote, who do have a change because they do do anything, right? Mm. Don't have a problem. You come and you get 4%, you're still going to work, right? Yeah. So you're fighting for a, a piece of chicken. Now everybody boycotting because of a piece of chicken, yeah. because of a price. Now people are getting licked down left, right, and center. I never see a burden in my life. 
mm. right? I adopt two children because of a murder, right? Oh. My good friend from again murdered. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to adopt the two children. That is, wow. that is where this place reached to. Wow. You understand? Yeah, man. And we go suck on and we go do nothing about it. Mm. Right? Not the only right. chance we have is when we come out of food and we are staying down home. And we mm. say, nah, this, nah, that, nah, that. So that call up before, every time he just calls, he sound like a, a elderly person. A person with some age, right? And every mm. time he calls, he just say, it's the people and who have it. It's not the people. If it is again, um, well, but they just get them grants at the end of the month again, grants for this, grants for that. Yeah. They will vote it. They will vote the party. You can't mm. get them wrong. It's the seventy percent who stay in home and they're doing nothing. Not them is yeah. the, that is ninety percent the general base. And the next thing too, we had a chance to put somebody else, but we still go on back and vote for the same ketchup and mustard. All right. We had a third option, and we didn't take it. So guess what? You had to, you had to accept the consequences now. Okay. Have a blessing. Yeah, man. All right. Um, we got to take the break. We are five minutes away from the hour of seven o'clock this morning. Um, before we go to the break, fellas, just a minute to Napuna Hindu school. I'm going to plug them now because the, 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 the charity boat ride is this weekend. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll wait. I'll go with, I'll go with a little thing. Yeah. All right, so we'll go to the break. All right, we'll go to the break. When we come back, I'll, I'll, I'll plug that in the second hour. But stay tuned, people, because um, when we come back, I'll give you what the Office of the Prime Minister put out yesterday um, in response to the murders um, that took place at her place. And I would hope otherwise, um, in terms of the other five murders in, other, um, in different parts of Trinidad. So look out, because we're going to get to that. And we're going to keep the calls coming throughout the, the entire program. Uh, as you get the opportunity to ventilate this morning. All right, stay tuned. Ostomy care is a unique and intimate condition that can seem challenging for individuals afflicted by it. At Better Life Ostomy Care, they understand and offer a wide range of products and services that will allow ostomates to lead a better life. From colostomy and urostomy pouches, paste and powders, antibacterial wipes, brava strips, deodorants, gloves, gauze, bed liners, and much, much more. They also have RN care available for ostomy home care with affordable starter packages. No need to look for nurse or supply everything is just a phone call away better life ostomy care is located at number four mosque street carony you can call them at 308-6709 or 472-5878 or visit their website at www.betterlifeostomycarett.com to find out more about their offerings you can also write to them at betterlifeostomycarett at gmail.com or find them on facebook better life ostomy care servicing Ostomates with a better quality of life. Thank you. Out of every 10 men, seven have experienced or are still dealing with AD issues. How can a man have confidence in himself if he doesn't even have control over his own tool? And they resort to medications and pills that can lead to a tragic end. My name is Cliff Ryan. I was a patient at Dr. Love Eye Check Clinic from a boy under aches and pains. I'm feeling and performing like an 18 year old. Thank you, Dr. Love. The eye terror care device has the ability to awaken dormant stem cells in the bone marrow. Yes, we have slipping stem cells in our bone marrows. As you keep blowing this on your spine, you're activating the stem cells. My name is Gail Williams. I've used Dr. Love herbal products for all my health issues with no side effects. They really work. Love Health Store has everything for almost anything. Concerned about the safety and security of your property? Mm. Then look no further. At Electromatic Gate Systems, they specialize in fabrication of gates, fencing, and much more. They also provide remote control access for sliding and swing gates and garage doors for residential, commercial, and industrial use. Have a design in mind? They can fabricate and motorize it into reality. Why choose them? They supply Italian-made motors backed by 10 years warranty, and you can ask about their lifetime warranty packages. Electromatic Gate Systems remains the sole authorized distributor 
distributor for profound net throughout the Caribbean. Don't compromise your security. Contact them today at 333 Gate. That is 333-4283. Find them on Google, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, or visit their website at www.electromaticgates.com. Their team is standing by to assist. Welcome to Morali Realty. Let's delve into the expertise of our dynamic team to understand what sets us apart. We excel in providing personalized solutions for all your rental and purchasing needs. With a keen understanding of the market and unparalleled negotiation skills, we strive to achieve the best outcome for our clients. Guiding clients through every step of the real estate process is our mission. The satisfaction and peace of mind is our top priority. We are committed to upholding the highest standards of integrity and service excellence. Marketing plays a pivotal role in our approach to sales and rentals. Through innovative strategies and targeted campaigns, we showcase properties very effectively. As you can see, our team is equipped with the knowledge, skill and passion to guide you through your home journey. Give us a call today and let us turn your real estate dreams into reality. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, roti makers. Try Chic Leisha high quality, unbleached, bromate free, all purpose and whole wheat flour. Bleached flour and bromate flour is treated with chemicals that can cause cancer and this is banned in Europe and many other countries. Chic Leisha flour offers a healthier option being that it's unbleached and bromate free. It also has a finer grain and a softer texture. Lower priced and conveniently packaged in 2 pound, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. Available at groceries and supermarkets. Markets. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiclisha Limited at 665-3336 or 480-8715 or visit them at Warrenville Canopia. Chiclisha Limited, quality you can trust. All right, so we're back on Breaking Dawn and this is the start of second hour. And as we start the second hour, we want to remind you, don't forget Kyodophilus Enzyme and Probiotics. If you're looking for that IBS burning stomach, sorry, if you're, have, if you're suffering with IBS burning stomach, acid reflux, blue ticket ulcers, you can go pick up a bottle of Kyodophilus Enzyme and Probiotics. Of course, 70% of your immune system is located in your gut. So tackle the problem at the source with Kyodophilus Enzyme and Probiotics. Pick up a bottle at any leading pharmacy or health store near you and uh, call 7280338 for more details all right on Kyodophilus enzyme and probiotics also um we want to remind you don't forget the food circuit and rest stop they are open they've been serving breakfast since 5 a.m and um well the high speed bre um, breakfast restaurant has been open since six um doing their thing serving breakfast as well and uh, we want to remind you guys don't forget they got the lunch specials too so the food circuit and rest stop they're pleased to inform patrons that they are now offering daily lunch specials to lent they have creole stew kingfish with a choice of sides which includes cuckoo callaloo ground provision lentils vegetable rice and a garden salad and at the pit stop roti shop you could get rice dal curry beef chicken shrimp goat and vegetables they also serve barbecue fish chicken and lamb and they are also serving Chinese combination specials daily. So it is a food circuit and rest stop located two kilometers after the Monroe Road flyover in the North Bong Lane of Dura Butler Highway. Check them today. They also provide washroom facilities and secured parking for members of the public. Um, we also have Van Egmond. Yeah. So Van Egmond, the magic soil for all plants, located at the Freeport, um, well, not located, but you could get it at the Freeport Agro Center. So go pick up your bag today, all right? And the Freeport Agro Center is located opposite the Freeport Police Station. You can call 7909247 or 4964603 and get more information on Van Egmond, the magic soil for all plants plants all right remember plants bear in six weeks all right and they they use this all over in thailand taiwan abu dhabi saudi arabia turn in you know the dry desert into in, in into a green paradise 
I mean, oh gosh, you can't lose. It's Van Egmont, people. Get cracking and get down to the Freeport Agro Center. Uh, the Tunapuna Hindu School. Yeah, the parents, teacher, support body, they're having a cooler cruise on the Harbour Master this weekend, the 24th of March. This is all to raise funds to help the school with some of their repairs and so on and so forth. Now, tickets are available at the Tunapuna Hindu School and the PTSB uh, members, which is the parents, teacher, support body. And you can call 348 9315 um, to get your tickets from Raj because. Um, tickets are also available at Raj Bar and Lounge in St. Augustine. So make sure and come out and support uh, this terrific course at the Situnapuna Hindu School. Um, we got some birthdays, I would imagine, that we got to get to. Um, so let me see, 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 let me see. All right, let me pull it up here. How much we have? One, two, three, four, five. All right. So, uh, we got to say first off, as we enter the birthday realm, happy birthday going out to... Wait, eh, Kyle? Kyle. This, this is Kyle, who was on the program, DJ Kyle. But Kyle, Kyle say you want to wish his beautiful girlfriend a happy birthday. But he didn't put his girlfriend's name, eh? All right, uh, but so uh, to the lovely la young lady, um, Kyle. Kyle says, happy birthday to you. Your boyfriend sent a little birthday shout. Yeah, big him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The young people doing the thing. Yeah, they ain't afraid. They ain't afraid to, they ain't afraid to broadcast the love, you know. Don't get tough, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're, go brave. You understand? Go brave, my brother. So happy birthday to you, my darling. Um, and big up Kyle, man. Kyle. Big up yourself. Also, um, we would like to send a birthday greeting to Elysia Hensby. Um, now, Elysia celebrated a birthday yesterday, which was a uh, Sunday on St. Patrick's Day. And Elysia is a key member of the Morelli Realty Group. And um, she celebrates her birthday. Well, she celebrated her birthday yesterday. But today, don't forget, we have some giveaways from Morelli. To see Morelli, we have you'll win the option of either getting a manicure or a pampered pedicure. All right, and we will give those away and take some calls a little later down in this hour. All right, but it is here. Happy belated birthday to you! Also, happy ninth birthday to Dejeuner. Dejeuner, all right, coming down from a mom. So, Dejeuner, your mom loves you. She says happy birthday to you, and we hope you enjoy your day today. All right? Nine years old. Nice man. Also, let's see. Happy birthday to my husband, boy, age 72, young. He's 72 years young today. This is coming from his wife, Rosie. Children, Anil, Sean, Tammy, and Chris. Grandchildren, Jason, Eli, Kiara, uh, Vera, and daughter-in-law, Shala. And they want you to know they love you a lot. Um, a great man he is. And he loves, um, oh, he loves the show. He doesn't miss it. Big up yourself, boy. Nice man. Happy birthday to you, my brother. What else we got, gentlemen? Let me see. Oh, we have one more. So finally, happy birthday going out to Salisha Kasun. Uh, coming on from your uncle Richard and auntie Hasina Keep on shining. You are, you are beautiful inside and out. Have an awesome day on your special day. All right, so this is um, Salisha Kisun and I see there that she was done by you pick man. I've been done down there. You see when we finish bamboo cottage, we just go by you pick for breakfast. Eh? Yeah, man. Yeah, big up the, 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 the fine staff at you pick you pick uh, as well, man. All right, nice one. It's a terrific place to go have a, 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 a nice breakfast after you go on your walk Bamboo Cathedral. Yesterday, I went Chancellor. I did Chancellor yesterday. I went up Chancellor. I come back down. And then I do a Savannah. All I feel like getting ready for my 5K and joke. There's feel a joke, you know. 
I I not the shoops. I not the shoops. You know, like when 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 Alan Roberts used to do spork, used to shoops. I not I not sweet shoops like that. But all right, we getting ready. Listen, I give only enough time. You know, only like two months to get ready for this thing. You know, whether you're running or you're walking. Listen, it's gonna be a terrific morning. Pop my five gave for me. Let me deal with that one time. So when we when we finish with this, it's just phone calls. All right, so don't forget, run, Stefan, run is on. And I am thinking, sitting here, to myself, eh? I'll have to talk to my committee members. I want to talk to my committee members. Because you hear people say nobody ain't coming out against crime. I'm thinking about doing two different jerseys, you know, fellas. Yeah. Was that? Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you said, I thought you said, don't do that. <laughs> Where thing, boy? Two different jerseys. One for the, the walk with the diabetes that we're giving part of the proceeds to. And you know, we try to encourage people to come out in the numbers and, and, and we'll do this, this 5K and fun walk and make a statement on the crime situation as well. I certainly if I could do both, you know. I'm thinking about it, but nevertheless. Um, sometimes too much thing to spoil the pot, eh? and, I, and I already focused on the Diabetes Association. So I might want to mix this, but I want to do something for that. But then again, I might do that for, I might, I might want to have a, a little thing for crime and then everybody stay in the house, I don't know. All right, but, but listen. I hear people this morning saying, we are do something. But you see this 5K? This is the first option you have to do something. Um, to support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes, to come out, in our numbers and create that awareness if we could come out for this i will feel more confident saying let me hold something for crime let me do something about crime you understand what i'm saying if we could come out for this and i could see good numbers for something like this i could i, I will have more confidence in doing that because a lot of the times People just make a call and then you have a handful of people come out and everybody like they frighten, you know. But we go, we, let me see what happened on, on the 28th of April. All right, so the 28th of April, we have the 5K on Fun Walk. Get registered today at TrinbagoEvents.com. All right, we, we, we're going to give part proceeds to the Diabetes Association and Trinidad Tobago, which means the more people come out, is the more I could give to the charity. The more people come out, is the more we could give to the charity? Is the more medals we had to order? Is the more jerseys we had to print? Is, is more everything, all right? But we have over $30,000 in cash prizes to be won, including $5,000 to the winner of the 5K, um, male and female. Um, second place, $3,000. Third place, $2,000. Fourth place, $1,000. We also have cash prizes, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And then we have prizes for the age the age groups the different age groups all right so we have 15 nice one um 16 and 19 nice two 20 to 29 30 to 39 40 to 49 50 to 59 60 and up we have seven different age group categories and don't worry for the children who are 12 and under that you do have to register all right now as a parent you have to register but you do have to register a child of the 12 and under all in a worry all in a uncle stefan has operated we ain't gonna let the children come out and, you know, I mean, the first, the first child under, uh, you know, who 12 and under, to cross the line, uh, you know, we must, we must extend something to them. I can't leave them now just so, you know what I mean? So don't worry, we'll have something for the kids as well. We're working towards getting all these things done during the month of March so that in April I have everything planned and it's just to set up things come the 28th, all right? Um, the faster that we could get some support in terms of sponsorship or donations would be terrific. Um, even if you have a little small business, don't be afraid to reach out to us. Nothing is set in stone. If you want to contribute towards this event um, as an individual or as a small business owner, just call 730-2588. That is 730-2588. 
um, you will that that my mother will 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 talk to you she will take all the information and um, we will sit and discuss that uh, when she gets back from Tampa so make sure if you're calling her call her on whatsapp for now she'll be back in the country a little bit later on this week all right and then you could call normal but if you have anything like that you want to make a contribution a donation you want to sponsor uh, maybe one of the prizes either the first the second the third the fourth whatever you want to give hampers you want to to give vouchers whatever you want to give us prizes we invite you to do so and all you have to do is call that number seven three zero two five eight eight all right do it early so that i could acknowledge you and you get back some mileage all right okay with that give me the officer the prime minister and the statement that they made Hmm? Mm -hmm. So, in response to the killings, those murders, that mass shooting that took place, the office of the Prime Minister, just like Heinz, took to social media. And I want to know from Heinz, because David Nackett claims he was the only politician to visit the area. Heinz is saying that he knew at least two of the victims personally and he extended condolences to their family. I wonder if he went in person. Because I remember when he was um, a junior minister in the Ministry of National Security, I think he was, when the Cali Bay fisherman was calling, no, I think he was minister, was he, he was some, I think he was a junior minister in the ministry. The Cali Bay fishermen was calling. Remember when the, the situation with the Cali Bay fishermen? And they asked for, for, for somebody from the Ministry of National Security to come and, 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 you know, at least offer them some comfort. They wanted to see somebody because they were trying to find their loved ones. And Heinz said, I think he said at the time, and I could, I'm, I'm not saying word for word here. I can't remember what he said word for word. But he would have said something to the effect that um, like down there was too dangerous or something so for him to, 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 to venture or something to that effect so I'm wondering now if he went in person and, and offered condolences because when you know people like we're supposed to do right especially as a minister of national security um, so the office of the prime minister says on the Saturday sorry today's latest outrage we have five persons lost their lives at one location in Belmont and three others were killed elsewhere brings home the depth of the problem that the government is grappling with. This ever-increasing total wanton disregard for human life is to be condemned in the soundest of ways. My condolences go out to the families who are today experiencing the pain that traumatizes the entire national community. The presence of and frequent use of assault weapons in our country has brought an added dimension of effectiveness to the tremendous murderous lawlessness which continues to plague us. I want to give the nation the assurance that even as we experience today's tragedy, the state through its lawful activities will continue to identify and extract these weapons and their criminal owners and operators. The population can, re can be rest assured that the state agencies will not give up the fight to rid of our streets and other places of the evil that is now widespread as a gun culture in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, it is amazing to me that you are specifically directing and you're condemning the actions that took place at her place. You're offering condolences to the family of the families of the people at her place that died. But in that 24 hour period, there were five other people that died, that were murdered. So if I'm the officer of the prime minister and I'm putting out a statement, it's supposed to be on all the murders. Because it was 10 in 24 hours. I don't know how they could forget the five that get killed wrong the same time 
as these five. But anyway, the government said they are grappling with this situation of illegal guns. And that you can be rest assured, the population, <laughs> that the state agencies will not give up the fight to rid of our streets and other places of the evil that is now widespread as a gun culture in Trinidad and Tobago. We continue to take your calls on this murderous weekend that occurred. Hello, good morning. What? Yeah. One more time. That, uh, that so color that you know right out there is something that he didn't put on it. And, and I, he, should have, he should have put that on it that we are about to step down. We, we are about to step down. This is what he should have been put in there. And that's what he said there. He only was concerned about the people who die in Fort Swain. Darby, Arima, and all these. He ain't mentioning them things at all. That, yep. He ain't care about that. We that had five murders all over the place. Five, five men get killed. Over. And then yeah, five yeah, now yeah. in her place. You have to address yeah. all ten. Yeah, of course, and he ain't mentioned that. You understand me? That's why I say that that is what he should have on that on that list there. We are about to step down. That is what you should be doing and what you should be saying. You understand? I mean, I want to make, I want to come back again with the voters and them was concerned. Concerning the same, same, same moderate business, right? Why, why I say we blaming we saw ourselves, the people, is because listen, if there's a hundred voters in this country, 50, 50 vote, voters come out and vote, and the next fifty year vote, them other fifty go and vote. You know what they're getting? Mm. They're getting food cards. They're getting hampers. And they get in envelopes. And here what they say, man, we don't fix already. Yeah, who gone vote, vote? We, we sure we winning again. You understand? Because the ABC don't fix up that already. Have a nice day. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, two, uh, three, five, five, three, two, five. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. Uh, we go back to the phone lines. We take any calls. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. Morning. Morning, morning. Me again. Yeah. You know, we, 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 we talk about OPVs to prevent illegal guns and all kind of thing. We talk about scanners in the ports. He talking about guns and guns are operate by themselves. And they know who, who the criminals are, but all of a sudden we can't charge people on individual charges or everything about gang. So we can't hold the gang, we can't hold an individual. And they killing the police and them, so who guarding the guards? Exactly. We, 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 you know, every time you, you stop to think and, and, and hear the response of the people who is in charge to deal with these issues, they have no answers. Mm -hmm. It's the same refrain over and over. over, and over. Gang violence, gang violence, and will not charge people on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. We're taking your calls. We are seven twenty-one. Don't forget, we have Morelli Realty. We have our giveaway. Um, actually, two giveaways. Two, two persons are going to win. Let me make sure it's two and it's not one today and one tomorrow. Hello, good morning. Morning, Stefan. Yes, dear. The thing is, the Trinidad, we only have low-class gunmen, but not one classy sniper. Okay. All right. Hello? All right, we're going again. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. Morning. Morning, Stefan. Morning, dear. Um, first time caller, but every morning I listen to your program. Okay, thanks a lot. Where are you calling from? Marabella. Marabella, um, all right. So, yes. Southland, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Very nice area, even though they class it as a bad area, but where we live is very nice. Hmm. But all I wanted to say is that they should have a total lockdown of this country. Who suffer, suffer, but let the police come out in each area and do something it is getting beyond it, it is really really terrible let the dead who suffer suffer now let the police come out in each area and have a good lockdown and search for all these criminals because it is really getting out of hand you have mm -hmm. to be lucky in your house like if you're you're, you're caged up early yeah. six o'clock you have to put in your, your burger proof you have to be getting up in the night sleepless nights to, to watch around your house it's not nice yeah and i know a lot of people i know a lot of people who live in like that eh? yeah it yeah. is it is really really bad i know a lot and of people i think i think um mr Heinz should 
or whoever Mr. Rowley have a total lockdown at least for a week and clean up all these bandits all over the place. Mm. Okay. Thanks a lot. So have a blessed day. Take care. Bye. Same to you, Marabella. All right. Two three five five three two five two three five five three two five. We're taking your calls. We are 23 minutes past the hour of 7 o'clock. All right. And we're going again. You know, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Is that the type of response um, that you expect from the office of the Prime Minister, given that we had 10 murders in 24 hours? Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Stefan. Yeah, man, go ahead. Some years ago, it had six murders over our weekend. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. And the government, the government came forth and had a press conference and a trigger a state of emergency. The whole nation was on our pro editorial radio talk show, morning talk show. We had ten, we said ten murders in 24 hours and no talk. Mm. No outrage. Meaning, we become immune to murder now. Hmm. Five murder, that you all? Daddy talk now. Yeah. Only five? Only five? I say about a hundred. That's how it, no. yeah, that, that's it. The no start? Mm-hmm. We are going to play a mark, yes? We are like this. Daddy talk. Yeah. The immune shooting. Man in bullet like, like fireworks now. Boy, you know, man. It's scary. Like fireworks. And the government are trying to be go. But them are the um, security detail, arm to the teeth. You understand? They're safe. The fully protected, the family protected, the, the, the outside woman protected, the outside man protected, everybody protected. Mm hmm. You understand? But, but six, look how time changed. Some years ago, six murders over a weekend. Ten in one day. Ten in one day. Government change, the how all the answer to crime. Every time the Prime Minister leaves the country, he talking to our world leader to help you with crime. You know that? Yeah. When I shake the hand at Trudeau, when he went to Canada, do I help? He tell me what I help. I never come out of that. I never anybody asked the Prime Minister if uh, Mr. Trudeau give him any assistance financially mm -hmm. or spiritually. Yeah, but, but Trudeau is not Canada? Yes, he went to Canada. He went, so sorry, we, he went, we, we, we did. Sorry, didn't, sorry, the Prime Minister didn't, didn't, go Canada, didn't, didn't go Canada, but he met him. Right, but he asked Trudeau for help, right? Yeah, you actually don't help you. Right, but, 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 but my point is, didn't we have two Canadian, a, 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 a Canadian commissioner of police that we went and we get from Canada? Yeah, we had one. Yeah, we had two men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they run them out of Trinidad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, um, Jack had a cut the contract and they pay them off and they go on the way, yeah. Right. They bring them, they bring them so I, 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 you, I don't know if you ever see it, hmm. if you ever saw it. My remember it had an issue with police officers, uniform ending up in, in bandit um, chests. Yeah. And, shoulder, and they bring down some uniform with, I believe, has some kind of tracking device or code mm. or something. And then fellas see the officer and say them thing that scratch your skin and thing. Remember that? I remember that. And all of them and not stay anywhere else. Yeah. Never use. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I first world nation, man. Oh, first world God. Country. Yeah, you know, we sweet like yeah. that. All right, yeah, but what, what happened with Mr. Hines is that he was afraid for his life, you see. He ain't going to check them fishermen and them. And he was acting. Right. That's nice what you say. He was afraid for his life. Yeah. He was acting Minister of National Security. Yeah. Um, still, don't take a flight and went somewhere as usual. Okay, we'll yeah, talk yeah, again. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Bridge. Yeah, Later. man. Um, 235 um, we're taking your calls. We'll take one more before we take a break and then we come back and take some more calls. Hello, good morning. And then we have the Morelli Realty giveaway. Morning. Yes, Stefan. Morning, dear. I don't know. Morning. I don't know what again. Like I do, as the lady said, there may be a state of emergency is needed. Yeah. I think they need to do something like that. Morning. Morning. Um, put up the footage from her place now instead of that release from the Office of the Prime Minister. I mean, I think, I think something, I mean, something like that has to be done, aren't we? Shouldn't, let me, let me ask all you something, maybe all you could answer me after the break, right? If you are running a country where crime is the number one issue, where illegal guns are, 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 are the number one issue, where gangs are a problem, 
Okay? If the population is expressing um, negative comments towards your administration uh, when they are asked about crime, right? And the conversation and the narrative, boy, Trinidad, I know what come of this place, now, boy, everything is a shooting and a killing. Boy, this place, I could really go on through, boy, like it have an evil living here. Like it, when, when, it, when the media go wrong and ask people in the population that, right? And you hear that. When something like this happens, shouldn't it trigger some sort of reaction from the government? Like immediate reaction, shouldn't it trigger at least some sort of knee-jerk reaction to deal with the situation? But here we are Monday morning and all we have is talk. But, but shouldn't some action have taken place? Because I could guarantee you, I am very sure that even the police know exactly who might have swing and do that. Maybe they're planning some sort of action, maybe they are. But I mean, I would have thought, like something happened to that and I see MP for that area, I'd have been all over that community, you know, talking to every resident, you know. Trying to get information in. Because if they mightn't give the information to the police because they don't trust the police, well, a few people inside that they would have voted for me. So I go in and see if I can get the information from them. I mean, it had to have some kind of reaction, not so? Something that shows, well, yeah, we, 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 we have a concern. Not a post on social media. You're the Minister of National Security. You are in government. You are the minister of a ministry, of the ministry that is running national security. Your response should not be typed up on social media. Anyway, we take the break. We'll be back after this. For something as uniquely crafted as your eyes, you should have lenses made with the most care and precision. At Adams Optical, our mission is to deliver optimal eye care. Our three branches are conveniently located in Rio Claro, San Fernando and Chagones. Come in today for a free comprehensive eye exam. We have full single vision or bifocal glasses from just $5.95. Adams Optical, we care for your eyes. Adams Optical. Welcome to Car City Trading, your number one supply of brand new Korean auto parts. Come on down to lot number 78, Bamboo Settlement number 2, Valsane, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday to Friday and 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday to get your Hyundai and Kia vehicular needs. Car City Trading has everything your vehicle needs, from a brand new head and blocks to engine parts, transmissions, suspension parts, body parts, electrical parts, braking system, AC system, even the smallest sensor and much more. WhatsApp us today at 704-2246 or call us at 645-2603 and let us be your car parts solution. Be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and look out for our monthly deals and promotions. Car City Trading, quality products at unbeatable prices. Green Dot continues to deliver internet connectivity to a wide range of communities in Trinidad. With our combination fiber and wireless network, you get the service you need wherever you live. Stream your favorite shows, enjoy online tuition, stay in touch with your work team, and connect with friends and family with internet service at a price you can afford. As communities continue to grow, we continue to deliver. Call 224 GDOT or visit gd.tt today. Green Dot, 
improving and simplifying lives. This season of Lent, get more options from Royal Castle with its three tasty meal specials. Meals made with the freshest fish, seasoned with the castle's appetizing trendy ingredients and cooked to golden perfection. Choose from the fish combo, two succulent pieces of fish, one side and a 16 ounce soft drink, or the fish sandwich combo of a tender, tasty sandwich, one side and a 16 ounce soft drink, or even a flavorful veggie combo option of a sandwich, a side and a 16 ounce soft drink. Get more options from Royal Castle. Our culture, our taste for Lent. Unlock the door on a global journey to invest in real estate in the United States. Introducing Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Their real estate experts will guide you through every step of buying, selling, leasing, and business sales, providing a seamless experience as you invest or relocate. Explore a diverse range of properties from beachfront, condos, luxury, residential, and commercial, and unlock the incredible opportunities the United States has to offer. Their affiliated companies provide property management, property insurance, financing, and so much more. So let them guide you through the process, ensuring a smooth transition. With offices conveniently located in South Florida, you can contact them today and let your international real estate adventure begin. Call them directly at 1-561-459-4361 or WhatsApp 1-561-574-2846. Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Offering respect, relationships and results. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, roti makers. Try Chic Leisha high quality unbleached bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Bleached flour and bromate flour is treated with chemicals that can cause cancer and this is banned in Europe and many other countries. Chic Leisha flour offers a healthier option being that it's unbleached and bromate free. It also has a finer grain and a softer texture. Lower priced and conveniently packaged in 2 pound, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. Available at groceries and supermarkets. Markets. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiclisha Limited at 665-3336 or 480-8715 or visit them at Warrenville Canopia. Chiclisha Limited. Quality you can trust. Air conditioning problems? Then look no further. A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an easy solution for all your automotive, commercial, and domestic air conditioning needs. With two convenient locations to serve you, A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an extensive range of parts and services, including pressure test kits, refrigerator sports, front and rear evaporators for maxi taxis. They also cater for both foreign and local automobile models like Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, and more. So pay them a visit today at either of their two locations. Number 36 Alfonso Street, San Grande. Phone 784-2707 or 386-5700. And number 133 Corner Rolling Street at Bonaventure Main Road, Gasparillo. Phone 312-2245 or 782-9720. Have you thought about where you're going for lunch today? Well, Tanti's Creole Food serves the best in local dishes at a great price. They're located at Alta Spaniard, Duke Street, Port of Spain. They offer the best in Creole, Chinese, and curry dishes. Mmm. Don't miss their after-work special and soup Saturdays. It's cow heel, oxtail, pigtail, and chicken foot soup. Mmm. And also, fish broth is on the menu. Give them a call or WhatsApp 734-3398 or simply visit them at the All-Star Panyard, Duke Street, Port of Spain. Safe and secure parking is also available. Tanti's Creole Food, the best in town. Check them out today. All right, so we're back. And uh, as we return, we got about, let me see. I have about... 10 minutes that I could take some calls. Um, now, let me tell you something here. Eh? One of the headlines in the paper this morning is Hard Place Residents Barricade Against Future Attacks. That would be in another paper. They're barricading against future attacks. So, that means that the expectation and the fear is there. In terms of Hines' statement on some of these communities doing well, Anybody who has seen or ever been to East Port of Spain, 
Well, boy, you're really at a wonder what I'm talking about. I come in, now that I come to think it, you know, it's eSports of Spain you're talking about, you know. The main road, the eastern main road, I always talk about this, the eastern main road, from the time you pass um, Mova Junction by the gas station, and you passing by Fernandez compound and thing, from the time you headed into town along that road, eventually it started to look like a ghost town, you know. Like nothing exists on that main road, you know. There is no activity there is no life there's no nothing going on there there is no economic activity whatsoever taking place <laughs> he says some of the communities doing well all right two three five five three two five be going back to the phone lines which communities doing well by your hands right the ones with the community leaders getting state contract morning Stefan, good morning. Yeah, morning there. This is yeah somewhat enemy, Lydia. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, man. Listen now. Uh, I'll uh -huh. tell you something. Let us start a poll, please. Please, we need to start a poll. Ulla and Heinz Moscow. But and by the way, did you see those people being interviewed on um one or three for the news relative to the property tax? No, I didn't see it. Ninety-nine percent of the person said they were happy for they, the they one were happy? percent drop. Hmm? They are happy. Listen, we do not have a commissioner. We do not have a commissioner, and we do not have a minister of national security. So, how can crime be solved in this country, Stefan? Please tell me. I'm asking you. Do hmm. a poll. Let uh, everybody call and say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Right now, let us do it, and then this woman should take shame out of her face and leave please try it hmm. thank you love you all always right. no problem <laughs> same here take um care, bye. yeah two three five five three two five three two two three five five three two five that's the deal and i always debate it going back and forth um so we're going again with your calls um two three five five three two five and if i have 99 percent of people who say they're satisfied property tax let me tell you that's 99 percent of misinformed persons in this country that have absolutely no problem but what once the government say pay this they're paying it they don't question anything hello good morning hello yeah morning yeah morning in jamaica some time ago the prime minister there were at least i think a five murders on a weekend mm -hmm. the prime minister declared a limited state of emergency in right. the attempt to Right. We have been uh, avoiding this for the longest while with all kind of spurious reasons as to why this shouldn't be done and shouldn't be done. Correct. In addition to this, if we are really serious about crime and we want to limit the availability of guns or the accessibility of guns, recently WASA announced a ban on uh, the use the of guns. ban. Yeah. And what the, the, the officer was saying, that it, before, it is before cabinet now, to have a revision in the increase in fines. Yeah. Because they are serious to, that the actors are need to. When last the Trinidad Tobago Police Service, the Police Service Association, or anyone, the Minister of National Security, ever discussed the possibility of an increase in fines with regards ownership of guns or possession of mm -hmm. guns or you know, whatever? Mm -hmm. So it's that we are not serious. And one final point this question about announcing a hundred million dollars to fight crime. We certainly we spread the number of gangs which now will probably take uh, a little more occupancy of the East West Corridor and you're going to have an increase in the number of murders because you're going to have increased gang violence. Mm -hmm. So this government, I mean, unfortunately is not serious about crime, but it's time that we do something about the penalties related to to, to Illegal guns and possession. I want yeah. To. You Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. And that's the point I was making when we dealt with Marvin Gonzalez when he made that statement in the TTT News report. You know, I said, but wait, you could take that approach with water and a hose ban, but we can't take that that, that approach with crime. Morning. Second morning. Yeah, morning, my dear. I think the people in this country. Oh God, I'm um, Stephon. We need a little relief. It is a little relief, 
But every day this amount of more that we fed up. We just want to set up emergency, man. Yeah. I think they need to do something like that. And, and for the love of God, I don't know why. If even not a state of emergency, there must be. If you have enough people, competent enough, sitting in a room, offering solutions, eventually you're going to reach a solution that, that could have some impact. You understand? Morning. Good morning. You as a trainer. Yeah, morning, man. I have a question and a comment. Yeah. How do you control a population? How do what? How do you control a population? You keep them in fear. Aha, you have the answer. How the Prime Minister will do nothing about this because that is how we control the people. Yeah. We'll tax them so they can't pay no more and we we'll have them in fear. That is he is a that is the way this Prime Minister works. Mm. If okay. you want mm -hmm. a country by them and that is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Right? Fear, fear is 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 easy. It's 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 the same reason um, a man and a woman, a woman in a in a, a domestic violence situation or um, a, a toxic relationship. It's fear, fear that keeps her there. Right. We we need to get together and put this government out of business. Yeah. Put them out and change this country and do it for the betterment. Okay. Politicians live for themselves, not for the people. Okay, I hear you. Country and the above the rest. There's a law for politicians and there's a law for the people. Mm. There's no law for politicians. I never see a politician except in Basil Party. Get you. Yeah, and exactly. Right? If the people can wake up and see, when they will see. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, man. Have a wonderful day, boy. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, the caller hit a nail on the head there, you know. Fear is a controlling factor. When you have a population living in fear, constant fear, fear of being taxed, fear of um, the, the, the economic problems they're going through or the financial problems they're going through, fear of losing things in their life, fear of crime. You know, when you have people living in fear, you can control them. Because it's like most people, most people say, Stefan, we have to come out, we have to do something, you know. And then when they call on them, they're hiding in the house still. You know why they're hiding in the house? For fear of victimization. They don't want nobody to see, the, see them out participating in that um, particular walk or march or, or activity to stand up against something or for something. Because if that person sees them, that might be the boss. And when they go back to work, the boss might victimize them because they see them in the mat. It's fear. Fear. 2355325. 746. We'll take two more. Morning. Hello. Hey, it's a phone morning. Yeah, my brother, go ahead. It's five rivers here. Yeah, five rivers, go ahead, man. Yeah, you see the same thing we were talking about with crime. Sometimes I just wonder if there's the same population that's crying out in outrage for the crime. Remember when you said that music, we grew up in the 80s and it had all kind of bad man music. Yeah. But it never influenced, influenced us to do anything. Correct. But how come... The same population are crying out in outrage for the crime. As you open your car, they start it. The first thing playing mm -hmm. is what? Bad man music. Bad man music, yeah. That's the hit. So how, as, as I was telling a, a partner of mine, music supposed to excite you to feel good, not yeah. incite you like a dog to go and do somebody to, something. Correct. But the government and the efforts, or let them, or them even say reaction first. Mm -hmm. Right, you have a lot of people who just talking and nothing happening. Right, right. Yeah, we talk about this is the third time I'm going to mention this at, when I get a chance to call into your program. Mm -hmm. The no, I'm not saying sports could fix everything, but why are we not seeing a passion, the same passion that Mar Marvin Gonzalez talk with finding people who have holes in the yard and thing, and using it during the dry season? Why you can channel some of that passion? Why we got some of that passion to, into sports, sports into and entertainment, club, into the youth club, police yeah. youth clubs, yeah, and and doing that, I'm not saying it going to totally fix crime, but in the meantime, what we doing? Yeah, you see, dealing with a situation as uh, where where it is right now, it's it's not about dealing with it in a position where you dealt with, where, where where you solve the problem quickly, you know. It's just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, chipping yeah. away at the problem. But you have to create 
um, opportunities, whether it is in sport, whether it is through community development, whether it is in music and entertainment, right? Um, you have to chip away by creating opportunities and giving the youth something else to look forward to. And that's why I said in the first hour, why, if things are going well, why do we have so many alienated youths gravitating towards a negative lifestyle? Well, well, that's the thing, the glorifying it through the music and the music being played on the radio. Yeah. So I'm glad that an artist could stand up in our studio and, and record a tune and try and make a little money. But if you had the time and focus to compose them kind of lyrics, mm -hmm. why not try and do something positive? Correct. All right, man. And, and yes, my brother, thanks. And there will, there, that's, that's a, 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 a debate that will continue to take place. Thanks a lot, caller. And, you know, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, all people in the industry saying, well, you know, in my time we grew up and it always had violent content and that kind of thing, but that never influenced us. And if you take it and you put it um, and you ban it, um, they will still find it on YouTube and this, that, and the other, right? But, but you see, back then, right? Back then, we didn't we didn't have the environment that people live in today is not what we used to live in back then so it's not just i guess the the, the, the musical content and the lyrical content it has to do with everything it's the era you're living in it's the things that, that are being glorified it's the way that certain things are being portrayed it's the way that the artists carry themselves and present themselves to their fan base it's it's a lot of little things you see People will buy anything once you sell it good enough. Understand what I'm saying? If I wanted to sell this newspaper, right, and I could come up with certain, you know, a certain messaging, a certain way, you know, a certain design, the front page, whatever. Whatever I come up with, once I present that, Right? Whatever I present to, 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 to the buyer, I had to make that sale, right? It's, 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 not, it's marketing. So if, if, if what we market in is guns, drugs, violence, big gold chain, um, you ain't had to walk no way. Um, you know, you could be a gangster, you could sell drugs on the block and you could buy a Mercedes Benz and drive it rather than go to school, get your education, whatever the case might be. However, it's the traditional way that we used to learn it back then. Um, you get your passes, you get a good job, you go through a little promotion, you become an executive, you do positive things, you start your own business, and you could afford a Mercedes Benz. See, that's the long route. But so long as that you are marketing the short route, the negative route, the wrong route, the criminal route, as the way to success, then that is what a lot of people will buy. Because you're marketing that. If you understand what I'm saying, that's what you're selling to them. So, they're buying where you're selling. It's as simple as that. In our time, while it might have had certain lyrical content in music, it wasn't really marketed in that kind of way. It still had certain values, certain morals, certain principles that you knew to abide by. There was a certain level of respect for those in authority that no longer exists now. You understand? So that, that fear for the police is no longer there. And that's the difference. That's the difference between the previous years and the era that we're living in is that there is no fear for certain elements, certain authoritative elements um, that's supposed to keep the society intact, right? Um, and make you think twice about committing a crime. So those things no longer exist because, as we could plainly see, the, the Minister of National Security will respond to 10 people dying in 24 hours by putting up a post on Facebook. That's the response. Who's, who fears that? Nobody fears your post. Nobody fears what you're going to type. Nobody fears what you're going to say. You have to act. If you're not going to act, why are you worried about? Let me go and kill 10 more people. It's that simple. Let me take one more call now. Hello, good morning. Yeah, I cool man. Go ahead. We have a national security minister. He's a waste of precious time. We have a, a, a commissioner of police, a complete waste of time. And we have a prime minister, no good. Case okay. closed. All right, man. All right, with that, um, 
let me just remind you all about Morelli before we take the break and we're coming back and we have a giveaway. We have two giveaways, all right? Um, of course, one of the members of Morelli celebrated their birthday um, yesterday. And well, I mean, we went through the birthday segment, so you know it was Elysia, all right? Or at least you ought to know. But put up the Morelli um, flyer for me now. Um, so they celebrated the birthday yesterday. And as part of these festivities, there will be four lucky winners who will have the opportunity to choose between a luxurious manicure or a pampering pedicure, courtesy Gossip Here Salon and Spa, located at Movitong in Port of Spain. So you're going to be treated like, watch my red carpet treatment that we'll be talking about. All right? And uh, we have two lucky persons will have the opportunity to win that today. So pay attention to everything you see on the screen there right now. Um, of course, Morelli Realty, when we're talking excellence, um, we're talking Morelli Realty, when we're talking trust, we're talking Morelli Realty in the real estate market. And of course, you could check out their platforms on TikTok at Morelli.Realty, Facebook Morelli Realty, and Instagram Morelli Realty TT. You could also call any one of those six persons there, um, Elysia, Tashona, Davian, uh, Christy, Halima, or Anais. Um, you can call any one of them and uh, you can start moving towards building your dreams um, as it relates to owning your own property, things like that. Or if you have a property to sell, you could contact Morelli Realty as well. All right, so we take the break. When we come back, we're going to take a couple of calls and see if we can do those giveaways. I'll take your information, which is your name and your contact number, and um, we will pass it on to, to management so that you have the opportunity to choose which luxurious pampering you want. Stay tuned. We, we do that giveaway when we return. Concerned about the safety and security of your property? Mm. Then look no further. At Electromatic Gate Systems, they specialize in fabrication of gates, fencing, and much more. They also provide remote control access for sliding and swing gates and garage doors for residential, commercial, and industrial use. Have a design in mind? They can fabricate and motorize it into reality. Why choose them? They supply Italian-made motors backed by 10 years warranty. And you can ask about their lifetime warranty packages. Electromatic Gate Systems remains the sole authorized distributor for profound net throughout the Caribbean. Oh, Don't compromise right. your security. Contact them today at 333 GATE. That is 333 4283. Find them on Google, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, or visit their website at www.electromaticgates.com. Their team is standing by to assist. Morelli, Morelli, Morelli. Join Open Minds Education, where education is so much more. It's about friends, family and relationships, and a lifetime of learning, where they work hard and play hard. Open Minds is 100% online and private for students from preschool to Form 5. They offer CSEC subjects and a world of non-academic life skill experiences. At Open Minds, students are heard, parents are involved, and the teachers are passionate. Register today at www.openminds.education. Call or WhatsApp. 388-6635 or 377-6635. Open minds because education is so much more. If you're planning an event, make us your first option. At Reality of a Dream, we can make your event memorable. We can assist in planning your corporate functions, moderate gatherings, family occasions, christenings, and more. We also cater for weddings and other special occasions. Our newly renovated venue includes a majestic entryway, which takes you along a path to a fantastic indoor facility, which can accommodate up to 80 dining guests. A recently completed, fully air-conditioned, beautifully designed wing, which maintains the theme and flow of reality of a dream, adds 30 extra seats for dining guests. In total, 
we can now seat a total of 110 dining guests. Come see for yourself the splendor that awaits you. Walk along the path and make your way to the breathtaking, well-maintained swimming pool and gazebo, and also the entire grounds of Reality of a Dream. We've also updated the Dream Suite, which comes with all modern conveniences, where guests can enjoy the feeling of an exquisite retreat overlooking the entire area. Reality of a Dream caters to professional events. We provide secured parking for guests, so call us at 332-6880 and ask for Harriet. Located at number 15 Moses Avenue, San Juan. Reality of a dream. Making dreams come true every day. Have you thought about where you're going for lunch today? Well, Tanti's Creole Food serves the best in local dishes at a great price. They're located at Alta Spaniard, Duke Street, Port of Spain. They offer the best in Creole, Chinese, and curry dishes. Mmm. Don't miss their after-work special and soup Saturdays. It's cow heel, oxtail, pigtail, and chicken foot soup. Mmm. And also, fish broth is on the menu. Give them a call or WhatsApp 734-3398 or simply visit them at the All-Star Paniada, Duke Street, Port of Spain. Safe and secure parking is also available. Tanti is a Creole food, the best in town. Check them out today. Air conditioning problems? Then look no further. A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an easy solution for all your automotive, commercial, and domestic air conditioning needs. With two convenient locations to serve you, A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an extensive range of parts and services, including pressure test kits, refrigerator sports, front and rear evaporators for maxi taxis. They also cater for both foreign and local automobile models like Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, and more. So pay them a visit today at either of their two locations. Number 36 Alfonso Street, San Grande. Phone 784-2707 or 386-5700. And number 133 Corner Rolling Street and Bonaventure Main Road, Gasparillo. Phone 312-2245 or 782-9720. For something as uniquely crafted as your eyes, you should have lenses made with the most care and precision. At Adams Optical, our mission is to deliver optimal eye care. Our three branches are conveniently located in Rio Claro, San Fernando, and Chagones. Come in today for a free comprehensive eye exam. We have full single vision or bifocal glasses from just $5.95. Adams Optical, we care for your eyes. Optical. We get this on in two calls um, to give away. What you're going to win, you have the choice. Either you're going to get a manicure or a pampered pedicure, ladies, um, from and let me tell you something, this is no, this is no slight place, you know. I mean, don't get movie tongue there, you know. Movie tongue, you know. And I want to thank movie tongue for always supporting all my initiatives as well. Um, maybe we could get some, maybe we might have some vouchers to give away for the Ferris wheel and things that they know put up there, man. The whole park, all right? Maybe we'll have that for the kids for the run come um, April 28th. All right, so you're going to get the opportunity here. To win either a luxurious manicure or a pampering pedicure courtesy Gossip Hair Salon and Spa located in Mouviton, Port of Spain. All you have to do is answer two very simple questions. All right? Or one? No. A very simple question. All right? So 2355325. Remember, people, we do not give away here. So when you call, you call it in to win yourself a giveaway. Fellas, feel free to call and you could get the opportunity to win it for your lady. All right, I need all you have to take that down, you know. Take down the flyer. Who we wrong to all you? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, I have a simple question for you, ready? Ready. You, you're sure, eh? I want the pedicure. All right, good. All right, so could you tell me what is Morelli Realty's Instagram page. What is the name? 
Oh boy. You see what I mean? Oh boy. It was just on the screen in that flyer. Yeah, but something, something, um, TT, TT, TT.com. Something, something, TT. <laughs> yeah, but something, something. I get, I get an opportunity, I get an opportunity, I you know. What do you think is he something, something, TT? Morally, morally, reality. Alright, say the whole thing for me now. Morally, reality, TT.com. Oh God, I really tried here for you, you know. You went a little, a little too. You went, for, you, you went. You, you know you can stop at TT, right? Give, give it one more time now. Give it one more time now. Morali, reality, TT. All right, we'll take that. Just give me your name here. <laughs> give me your name. Give me your name. Give me your name. What's your name? What, repeat that. Evelyn Baron and okay um, could I just get a contact number for you uh -huh. okay got it thanks a lot Evelyn congratulations somebody will contact you okay thanks all right <laughs> I'll tell both Evelyn boy Evelyn Evelyn says something, something, TT. <laughs> oh, ball! All right, so once again, we have another giveaway. We want to give a second person. All you know, I like to do my giveaways. You know, I like to give everybody in one shot. Eh? All right. So it is, let me repeat it there. Eh? It is Morelli Realty. One of the members celebrated their birthday. And as part of those festivities, they're giving you the opportunity to win yourself either a luxurious manicure or a pampered pedicure from gossip here salon and spa all right so we're going to another call here because we have another one to give away hello good morning hello good morning morning let me make sure i hear you clear hello morning all right morning so you have the opportunity to win yourself either luxurious manicure or pampering pedicure all you have to give me is three of the agents names there are six agents i just need three of the names alicia uh -huh. Devon. what's that halima uh-huh and tishana all right good you get through all right yeah, that, 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 Davia name a little, yeah, I know, I know people get proper Davia name, you know. All right, so you got three. Um, what's your name? Maureen. Maureen. Uh-huh. Clark. With an E or, or just a K? Yes, please, with the K, with the E. All right. All right, um, all right, Maureen, just give me a number, um, real quick. Uh-huh. Okay, brilliant. Nice. You'll get a call today from, from, from the office. All right? Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Nice. All right. So congratulations to Evelyn and Maureen. And they will both, um, you know, they both won themselves either a luxurious manicure or a pampered pedicure. Um, tomorrow we have two giveaways courtesy Morelli Realty again. So all the pay attention when I read in the ad lib now. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so with that, we want to thank everybody for the calls and their comments. Um, tomorrow, I might want to touch on that property tax issue and get feedback from the public again. Um, we will take into consideration what they brought to the Parliament on Friday. And we're going to get your thoughts and your expression, you know, everything that you feel, your opinion on it. I will give you an article, I will read you an article by Afra Raymond. It was in the Newsday yesterday. Take a read in that article, all right? People need clarity. I'm going to show you the picture. It's in the paper this morning with the elderly gentleman with the wooden house who they claim he could get that rent for $8,000 a month. So for all the people who bought in, yeah, no problem with it. I want all to explain. Or as a matter of fact, I want you all to say, yes, I will rent that for $8,000 a month. Until tomorrow, we out. Have a great day, people.